Hey guys, and welcome to today's show vlog. Featured all the noisy birds behind me. So, yep, you heard it here. Um, we're going to a show. Me and Rocky are heading to our first show of the year. Um, and possibly our last one of the year. Because I leave Australia in two weeks. Uh, anyway, an update on selling Rocky. I decided not to. <laughs> I'm too easily won over by his little it's a cute face. Um, and also someone from my work um, might be riding him while I'm gone. So it's just like the perfect situation. Um, so he'll get ridden and, you know, looked after and everything. And um, he'll be here and when I come back. So really pleased it means that we'll keep him on the channel. And yeah, next year, hopefully we we'll progress up some bigger heights and do some more show jumping. And yeah, I'm really excited. So today we're going to a combined training event, which means it's dressage and show jumping. Um, we have entered quite a small class um, because I just kind of wanted a nice, easy run. There we go into the fence. Yeah, I just wanted to go with something nice and easy. We could just go out, have fun. Um, he hasn't been to a show since like a couple of months ago. Um, so yeah, we'll just have a little spin doing the grade five. Um, the dressage test is actually only walk and trot, which is perfect because um, like his canter is obviously a lot better, but it's still not as good as his trot. So hopefully we get a good mark because it's walk and trot and then we'll jump around a few show jumping fences. And I actually brought him to a show jumping show the weekend before last and I didn't vlog because I had to drive there on my own and I was very stressed about driving the float with a horse in it for the first time on my own. I'll insert a few clips from that now. We jumped the 1780. Um, and he was really good. He was quite strong, but um, he jumped absolutely everything. Here he is. I washed him yesterday. Um, but yeah, he jumped everything. He was really brave and he was really like, good and chilled in the warm up and stuff. So things like that are are nice. Um, so anyway, today we're jumping a little bit smaller. Um, so it should just be a little pop around. So yeah, I washed him yesterday. I've plastered him already. I'm going to rosebud him when I get there because last time he scratched in the float which was annoying um yeah so this is why i can't sell him because he's too cute thank you all right i'll get him in and get him a bit of a groom and then we'll hit the road all righty he is all groomed he's so shiny he's a gorgeous boy push out his tail so yeah, I'll rosebud him and oil his feet when we get there. Good boy, Rocky. You excited? Yes. And brush your forelock. <laughs> all right, Rocky boy. You're all right. <laughs> you excited? I'm a little bit worried. But don't worry. Andrew's driving this time, not me. So it'll be a smoother ride. <laughs> okay, see you when we get there. We're here. It's a really nice day. I'm gonna get Rocky out and tie him up and then find out where everything is. Hey Rocky. Now oh, he even has some shade, so we're in the perfect spot. Good boy, Rocky. You look at all your new friends. <laughs> He's like, where are my friends? Good boy.
and we're done. The dressage, the dressage is over. Why is dressage so stressful? Dressage, I swear, is more scary than show jumping. <laughs> but Rocky was a very good boy, apart from not wanting to hold to the end, which that's fine, Rocky. You're a good boy anyway. Right, so now we're gonna wait for some show jumping. Andrew isn't Terrible riding. Today. Oh yeah, Andrew took a phone wow. call and wouldn't even help me warm up. That's fine. <laughs> nah, you don't need any help warming up for dressage. All right, we're gonna go and see some show jumping. Hey guys, so I'm just watching the show jumping here. Um, they're just about to change the course for my class. I'm gonna go get ready. We got our dressage results. We got a 75, which is grand, but also the same as what we got when we had to canter. So I feel like it should have been better, but um, for a walk trot test. But anyway, we're in seventh place, middle of the pack. But anyway, onwards to the show jumping. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get ready, go get him tacked up, go through to the gear check, and then go warm up in the warm up there. And this is our arena. Alrighty. All right, Rocky, time for some jumping. This is what we both like the most, isn't it? Are you, are you learning your course or something over there? What are you looking at? Good boy. Alrighty, we are homeward bound. See you when we get home, Rocky. I'll update you guys when we get back. Alrighty, home sweet home. Good soup. <laughs> Good soup, Rocky. He's like, Holly, this is very wet. Just trying to get you hydrated, Rocky. Yeah. Good boy. Hey guys, so Rocky is just eating his feed here. It's a little bit windy, so I might just come inside to talk to you guys. So, a recap of the day. Um, dressage, I was very happy with him. I thought he was a really good boy. He was really nice and relaxed and very happy. I was a little bit disappointed to get 75 because I felt like we got 75 in tests where we have to canter and stuff, which isn't his strong suit. Then I read the score sheet and I made a big boo-boo and I did like, honestly, like the completely wrong movement. I was, after the halt and salute, I thought that was the end of the test. But no, there is another bit more where you have to like walk up to C or A or whichever one it is. C? Yeah, C. Um, and then turn left and then walk on a long rain and you get marks for that. I just halt saluted and like, headed out so I got like no marks for that because I didn't go to see <laughs> um, so that's such a bummer because other than that he got so many eights and nines um, and then the other spot where we lost marks big time was the halt which I I knew that he didn't really halt so I suppose <laughs> and didn't quite do that either and um, which is annoying because we have been practicing it at home but he was just excited and he just didn't want to stop he wanted to keep going so that's alright. But yeah, I was really pleased with the test. Like, 
he was really relaxed, um, all his transitions were really nice um, and yeah the judge left really nice comments saying that like there was a potential for the future and all this and you know that I managed him quite well. So yeah I was really pleased. Um, so then we were in seventh place going into show jumping and jumped around. He just had one pull down but he was so good, so like um, relaxed about it all, um, really happy. The one thing I really find with these pony club shows um, compared to show jumping at home in Ireland is that the courses are mental like there's so many of these like really tight um, like really acute angles where you have to turn back on yourself which is probably fine on a pony but it's not very good on a young thoroughbred so we had to like trot around all the corners like they were so tight um, and I found that a lot of these pony club shows so yeah it's not ideal for me <laughs> um, but anyway that's just the challenge I suppose. So I was really pleased, he just had the first part of the um, double down, he just kind of looked at the second part, had a little bit of a wiggle and tipped it but he was really good. So then it was time to wait for the results and they posted the results, like the finalised results and I came six and I was so pleased. And then someone um, disputed one of the results and I got bumped to seventh. <laughs> so annoying, I was so excited and we like like we only found out it was bumped to seventh as they called out the results, like handing out the prizes. And I was like, oh, what happened there? <laughs> so yeah, didn't get a little sash, unfortunately. We're so close, but so far. Um, but overall, I am so pleased with him. Um, like he's just, he's just come on leaps and bounds. He's a lot more relaxed. Like when he, like the majority of the test is good now. And when it's good, it feels really nice. and. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased with him. So I'm very happy with my Rocky boy. Um, it's all a good experience for him getting out there. I must say I'm almost completely sick of doing dressage tests now. I think I'm definitely back to pure show jumping after this because I am over learning tests. <laughs> um, but anyway, and what I said earlier is so true. I'm more, way more nervous for the dressage test than the show jumping because I'm like stressed I'm gonna forget my test. Especially after what happened last time, my last show, when the judge beeped me for going wrong and I didn't actually go wrong and then I was, I was all confused. <laughs> so yeah, I'm much rather when there's little fences there with numbers on it and it's very simple for me. <laughs> I can count to 10. <laughs> anyway, um, that was kind of gonna be my last show because I actually go back to Ireland in two weeks, but there is a show in two weeks time. It's quite far away, but it's a pure show jumping show. I would love to go and I, it's at Bonio in the Mornington Peninsula, if anyone, I feel like it's a really big showground, so if you're from Victoria you surely know it, um, but yeah, I went there to just watch, um, they had a big show on last weekend and I just watched and it's such a nice place and I really want to jump there and the ground's really nice and I feel like the courses will be really nice, so yeah, I'm gonna see how we go, I've got a new bit to try and get a bit of control after the fences and yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can see if we can go. So that is the plan. Um, I'll just compete or I'll just um, ride him at home for the next week. Whoa, this lighting. Um, I'll just ride him at home for the next week or two, and then yeah, we'll see how we go with that show. Um, fingers crossed, we get to go. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I've vlogged for ages because I haven't really like felt like it. I know I just kind of lost a bit of YouTube motivation, but kind of back on it. Also, my dad sent me videos of the two horses at home lunging today, and I'm so bloody excited to ride them. Um, Cal looks so good. They actually both look pretty good, but Cal looks like fit. Like, he looks good. So I'm very excited. And um, yeah, by the time I get home, they'll have been lunging for two weeks. So I'll just be able to hop on and we'll get going. Uh, so excited. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave you here. Um, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.